I want my sisters to know I was here. I want my great granddaughter to know I was here. I want my students to know I was here. I want my niece to know I was here. I want your great granddaughter to know I was here. I'm a great American fish. Drink if they called you an egg. Drink if they called you a slut or a shrew. Drink if they called you a crazy hag. Drink if the rumors are true. Wow, fabulous. That is a quick look at the new Broadway musical entitled Suffs, a production rich with history about the suffragist movement and the pioneering women at the heart of it who marched, organized, protested, and devoted their lives to finally earn women in America the right to vote, declaring once and for all that it was not just American men who were created equal. And joining us now, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who serves as a producer on the show and composer and author and star of the musical, Shana Taub. She also scored and wrote the production for which she received two Tony nominations. Suffs received six nominations in all, including Best Musical I love this in so many ways. Um, I'm going to start with, of course, the former Secretary of State, former presidential candidate, and our friend Hillary Clinton, because now you are a producer. Congratulations. You needed to do more, you know, more accomplishments <laughs> on your resume. So I'm glad that you uh, found something. Um, but in all seriousness, tell us about everything that drew you to SUFS. Well, Mika, it is such a joy to be here um, with you and everybody on this set to talk about something that has brought me a lot of joy. And in this election year, yeah. we need more joy, to be honest. And yes. going to see how the struggle finally ended for women to get mm -hmm. the right to vote with the passage of the 19th Amendment is not only a thrilling experience because of the extraordinary work that the young woman sitting next to me has done in bringing mm -hmm. this uh, piece of our history to life in such an entertaining way, but it's so relevant today. And I just can't stop, you know, humming. I, thankfully, I don't sing for anybody <laughs> around me, but humming the score. Uh, I, I go around quoting lines from uh, the musical. It has just been so exciting. You know, at a time right now when we've lost 50 years of rights and we're fighting for uh, those rights back and more, it's actually a wonderful time to sort of relive the history of what women did to try and to get to where we are today. And, and I, I am going to get to you about uh, abortion, Madam Secretary, and where we stand in the election in just a moment. But Shana... Uh, let me let me ask you about Suffs and you scored and wrote the whole production. Um, it looks incredible and it's getting so much buzz. But who do you hope? Tell us about it and who you hope will go to see it. Yeah, I mean, I grew up in rural Vermont loving musicals and learning about history and culture through them. And so I'm so excited to now get to share this story that I growing up, going to public school, never learned about my own history through a musical and through a cast album that hopefully we can share with people all over the country to learn about where we came from and learn that women have done hard things and hard times and we can change the world again. Yeah, and we're going to need to do hard things, I think. Yes. Uh, Madam <laughs> Secretary, let, let's go to that. I, what's it like? I know I've seen... Um, you on the red carpet there, you've in the audience watching this production that you decided to join as a producer. Um, what has it been like to not only see it on Broadway, but also to see the audience reaction? It, it has been just an extraordinary um, thrill for me. I saw the original production uh, in 2022 back at the public uh, theater here in New York City, and I was so happy that a story about uh, women's history um, was coming across to the audience with, you know, just an, a, a great moment of uh, recognition that, yes, that's where we came from and here we are today. And then with a lot of hard work, Shana had transformed it even further to make it to Broadway. So when I go and I hear the audience 
cheering and laughing. I go to a lot of Broadway theater because I love the theater. But this is such a special experience. And her final anthem that gets everybody up on their feet cheering as they leave the theater, which is to, you know, keep marching. Wow. Because among the lines, Mika, and you'll relate to that, is she has a line which says, progress is possible, not guaranteed. And we've seen that, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, in our own time. And that you have to fight for the future now. You can't just hope it's going to turn out well. You've got to make it as good as you can. And of course, that's about elections. And here we are in the middle of an election and people have to realize what the stakes are. And particularly for women, these women went to prison. Uh, they were force fed because they were on a hunger strike in order to gain attention to finally get the amendment through Congress and then to get it ratified by the states. At the risk of being wow. too lofty yes. in, in yes. the comparison, <laughs> your show gives big Hamilton vibes. By that, I mean telling so beautifully and, and so in such a smart way a story of history, and you give big Lin-Manuel vibes, and that's a high accomplishment, having written the book and the music and starring in it and done everything else. And I love when Secretary Clinton says she saw the show at the public in 2022. You had heard she was in the audience, and what did you do next? You sat down and wrote her a letter? I was so thrilled that she was there, and she's, of course, been an inspiration to me and so many in our cast for our whole lives. And when we were gearing up for Broadway, we thought, who would be our dream partner to bring this story and this history to a larger audience? And, of course, it was Secretary Clinton. So I wrote to her and just expressed how her campaign and her whole life's work for the empowerment of women and girls in this country and around the world had inspired us through our development journey on SUFFS. And I was so thrilled when she wrote back and hmm. uh, agreed to come on board. Because I think she understands storytelling and uh, music and theater have a role to play in the movements for equality and justice because it humanizes the issue for people. When you started writing this a decade ago or so, maybe even a little bit more, this has been really a labor of love for you. So what has it been like, how gratifying to see this reception, to see the theater full every night, to get six Tony nominations? What does that feel like? It's thrilling and just to feel all of the hard work that I've put in and all of my collaborators, you know, through a pandemic, through so many years, theater is hard work, but it, the best part about it is it's a collaboration. So to now have these moments of joy, which are so important to celebrate, to get to share that with my cast and producers, it's thrilling. Yeah. So on the other side of that letter, Secretary Clinton, when that comes across your desk from the show that you loved at the public, what were you thinking about your role? Well, I was surprised to... <laughs> to be honest, and I was very touched that Shana had written to me. And then I started to think, well, you know, storytelling is a big part of politics, and it's mm -hmm. a big part of what we have to do a better job of in our country. We have to tell the story of our past, but we also have to tell the story of where we are right now and what we want for the future. And I got really excited. So I immediately uh, responded, said I'd be more than happy to help. And she took me at my word. She, you know, sent me, you know, videos. I went to a, a, a reading. Um, I, I got so involved in it. And I have to say, in, you know, you and I, before we went on, um, Willie, were saying, you know, some days are kind of hard in this election season. Other days you get, you know, hopeful about the outcome. But I get so hopeful when I both go to see and think about uh, what Shana has created. It's an original American musical. There aren't many of those. In fact, I think it's the only one nominated uh, for a Tony this year. It came literally out of her heart and her head. And it is so important that we have as many people thinking about where we came from and where we are and where we want to go, especially this year. So, Shana, you, as Willie's mentioned, started this over a decade ago, but does it have a new relevancy now in today's political climate? Because this is about a battle for rights, and as Mika mentioned at the top, some rights have been taken away and others or could be at risk. Absolutely. I mean, when I was beginning to write this, uh, it, we were on the precipice of another election, but now to be doing it here in 2024, when Roe v. Wade has been overturned, we all feel a renewed sense of urgency to remind people, and especially remind women, of our electoral power, that we, when we come together, we can fight for our rights. And, uh, yeah, it feels more important than ever. Shana, um and Mika, Shana is the second woman ever to write the book, music, lyrics, and to star in her uh. own Broadway musical. Second ever. The last one was 52 <laughs> years ago. 